Hey everybody, welcome back to a quick video tutorial on how to install and download a nice little script that I found on the internet called the Flipper. Before I get started using the Flipper and show you the feature, I'm going to load in a mesh that I've been creating. This robot from the X-Men is the Sentinel. I put some material on it and just load in the head. Um, I have the whole robot built in, but for this presentation only, I just load in the head. Okay, so I'm going to click on the flipper. It's going to bring my menus. It's self-explanatory. You have your rotations right here. So instead of going to the channel box, you could rotate this 90 degree in the X the Y and the Z. You could also do 5 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, and so on. Okay? For the mirror geometry, is the same. You have negative X, positive X, negative Y, positive Y. So I'm going to delete half of this helmet. and do a mirror geometry in that negative x what's good about this um mirror geometry it comes built in with a low threshold meaning that you don't have to go to the channel box and type in 0 0.001 is built in already okay so that's really cool so that's that you could also delete the history center the pivot freeze the transformation and duplicate reverse duplicate reverse is you could duplicate it in the negative side and it's gonna freeze those transformation at the same time for you so that's very handy this is a very handy script to have around. So right now I'm going to show you how to download it and install it. Go to Google's and type in Flipper 0 0.4.0. It should be the first one that pop up. It's Creative Crash, the name of the website. So this is it right here. You have to create an account in order to download the script. Okay, so I'm not going to download it because I already did. So make sure you create yourself an account and choose download. Okay, so I'm going to minimize this. Go to my desktop. This is the folder. Um, I'm going to extract this to my desktop and browse through the folder. Um, you have the choice of choosing for a Macintosh and a Windows. I'm going to choose the Windows. So I'm going to bring this out here, open this folder, go to the icon. This is the Flipper PNG. I'm going to copy this, go to start, my document, Maya, or wherever you store your Maya, go to 2011, go to preferences, icons, and put the PNG here. All right, so I'm going to close this. So now I'll go back to Maya. I'm going to delete this. So you don't get confused and close this. So 
now go to the script editor down here there's a little icon i'm gonna clear all this to clear all this just right click and clear history down here right click and clear inputs so now i'm gonna load in the script go to file load script go to desktop flipper folder script and choose the second one flipper maya 2011 duckable click open this is the script down here you're gonna highlight all of these letters middle mouse drag to the shelf okay so i'm gonna close the script editor now i'm gonna load in the png go to the shelf editor is the mail command um it should be highlighted already um click on this little folder right here it's gonna bring you to the windows where the png is, is stored is this one click open and there you go save all shelf and there you go you have it right there so i hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and don't forget to comment and like my video um i see you guys next time